How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of a new brewery time in the form of New Barns Brewing. It is their plain dark beer. Yeah, this is a beer that contains water, hops, yeast, sugar, and barley. Uh, new Barns Brewing, they're out of Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, 11% strong export stout. No date. This comes courtesy of my boy, Adam, from Mercy Beers. I picked this up out of my fridge and went to drink it. And for some reason, I thought it was low ABV. I think there was another low ABV stout in the box that he sent me off. He sent me a box. He's from over kind of Mercy side. That's hence the Mercy Beers, Adam, from Mercy Beers. Very close to Liverpool for those playing along at home. And I picked it up and went, I went to go review it. And I was like, oh, it's 11%. I'm not going to review it. And I went, you know what? Screw it. Let's review it anyway. Um, label wise, awesome. Gold on black, sold all day. And just the fact that it's kind of like repetitive, something about it, I just dig it. Beer wise, it looks like a big old hefty stout, 11%. Dark as dark could be. Darker than I like my coffee to look like color wise. Let's get a nose. There's this cool sweetness to it. I don't know what that is. It's almost like a minty sweetness. There's something about it, like marzipani, almost. There's like this cool, spicy kind of sweetness to it. That's pretty much it. There's roasted malts. There's a little bit of chocolate, vanilla, blah, blah, blah. It's not a big nose. It doesn't come off as 11%, but that cool little marzipani, kind of spicy, kind of sweetness kind of has my interest peaked. Yeah, not a negative nose. It smells like a sweet big beer. Dive in. Cheers. That's danger beer. That's danger beer. Man, that is danger beer. Strong export stout. Now, when I think about export spout, 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 stout, I think about a creamy, creamy, fluffy, yet bold experience. That's what you're getting here. But I've had kind of this experience at half this ABV, <laughs> essentially. It's a little bit more bolder than that. I'm just being a little bit kind of well, tongue-in-cheek here, but... I mean, it's dangerous. It's really tasty. Nice, soft, creamy mouthfeel. There's a density to it, but it finishes so creamy and fluffy. Ends kind of dense, but then it doesn't linger all that much as far as how bold and big the beer is. There's a big roast component to it. Very nutty, very roasty. There is that little weird marzipani kind of spiciness to it, which I really dig. I don't even want to call it weird. I call it fun. It's a more appropriate word. It really is a good kind of, and I air quote shit of a core four beer. I think that sugar that they have added on here is like a brewer sugar. And what they're doing is trying to keep the beer light, but also make it a big beer. You know, so I think the brewer sugar is just used to kind of get the ABV up to 11%. I think what we're drinking here is like a 7% export stout. But they put in uh, brewer sugar to kind of get the ABV up to 11%, which does a couple different things. Makes it that danger beer. Um, those big roasted components don't get overpowered, um, just by like, uh, the rest of the beer kind of gaining up to that 11%. It's just using a brewer sugars, letting that roasty, toasty maltiness that does come off sweet because of ABV, but ends up being a, kind of a starter show. The way those roasted malts come off is a spicy kind of, not coffee, like but more, almost like a barrel charry kind of effect. This is tasty. I really want to try this barrel aged so to be perfectly honest with you. I think taking a nice big barrel, a uh, sweeter barrel, and uh, kind of putting these together adds that sweet component that I'm kind of looking for here. I appreciate the undersweetened part of this beer. Listen, it's not sweet. If you test this, it's high in calories. It's a bigger beer. There's sweetness to be had. But most of that beer is coming from a big roasted malt component. It makes you perceive it as something definitely not as sweet. And just kind of like, I keep wanting to call it a core four beer, but it's not. I know it's not. I can't get to where it is without being just a core four beer. But it has all the bits and pieces of a core four beer in a very fun way. I like this. I think it's fun. Not ostentatious. Not the craziest beer in the history of mankind. Just fun. Tasty, big, bold, dark, drinkable, soft. Kind of sounds like me. Maybe that's why I like it. I like me. Um, but yeah, I like it. I dig it. It's not blowing me away. It's not like the best beer I've ever had in my life, but I'm really glad I got to try it. And 
I kind of want to see what happens when it warms up. Let's put it that way. Fun beer. Definitely fun beer. So to recap, real quick. Softness into kind of like a little spicy bittering that finishes quick. Roast the malt's big. Nuttiness, big. Everything here is toasty, almost like barrel char-like. Lingering bitterness. Drinks closer to 7, 8 than it does 11, but you kind of feel that warming in your cheeks. Done and done. Is it one of the better stouts? Stouts? Can we just say stouts? One of the better stouts I've had is, well, yes. Is it Mount Rushmore status? No, but it's, you know, towards the top more than it is towards the bottom. Value and availability on the sucker? No idea. Adam, let me know what's what and leave you with it. If you like what we like this beer. If you like big stouts. You know, I want a little spiciness and, and fun, fluffy creaminess in your life. you like this. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of uh, plain dark beer right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.